Hi. Let's see how to set up the new P320 transmitter to measure flow. We have an orifice plate and that orifice plate data says that zero to 50 inches equals zero to 200 GPM gallons per minute. So let's see how to set that up. In order to avoid any confusion, I did a factory reset, which is parameter 35 uh, F-A-C-T for factory, and it gets you back to this standard factory conditions. I see this transmitter in the factory reset is measuring pressure, and the units of pressure are bar. Well, I want inches of water. Let's see how we're gonna do that. Well, first thing is we're gonna enter the editing mode by hitting the right-hand button. Now, I see that parameter one is pressure units and those pressure units are bar. Well, I wanna change that. So what do I do? I use the right hand button again to enter the edit mode, edit flashes. And you see an app up and a down arrow uh, to the right of the pressure units of bar. That means there's stuff above and stuff below that value. Let's go up. It says millibar. Oh, okay. Well, now notice that there's only the down arrow after millibar, which means that I'm at the top of the list of pressure units that are in the unit. So I have to use the down button to see those other pressure units. The right hand center button is the down button. So I'm gonna start pushing the down button and here go the various pressure units that I have available to me. PSI, grams per centimeter squared. Here's millimeters of water, meters of water. Ah, there's inches of water at 68 degrees, which is what I want. That's the pretty much standard. So I'm gonna enter that. So now my pressure units are inches of water. And next thing I wanna do is see what the lower range value is which is parameter two. Because I did a factory reset, this unit went to negative 241, which is the bottom, so to speak, the lowest pressure that this capsule, since it's a 240 inch capsule, that this unit can measure. So I want to enter the edit mode, now edit flashes, and I want to increase that value because I want zero to be my four milliamp point. There's zero. I enter that value. And now my low range inches of water, which equal four mils is zero. I now go to the upper range value that'll equal 20 milliamperes in parameter three. Once again, I hit the edit button, the right hand button, and it says I'm 240, which is the top end of this capsule. So I want to decrease that, and I want 50 for that. One trip up ah, there, I went to zero, and now I'm going to come up to 50. Using up using the left center button. There's 50. I enter that. So I have my zero to 50 inches of input pressure that my orifice plate is going to generate. Next parameter I come to is parameter four, which is damping. I think that might be a little slow for this flow loop, so I'm gonna change that. It's at two, and I wanna to go to one second to speed it up a little bit so I respond a little quicker to any flow changes. And there's one, I enter that. Next parameter is the application parameter. Factory default is measuring pressure. Uh, I wanna change that, I want flow. Coming down that list, level, VSLN, that means volumetric flow, that's the V. The S is for square root and it's lin, which means it will come out of zero in a linear fashion and then switch on to the square root curve at 
the percentage that I pick in parameter 20. We're going to do that a little bit later, but I'm not a very big fan of VSLN because it's rather steep near zero and it bounces around quite a bit. So I prefer the VS off, which is akin to low flow cutoff that you see in most flow meters in that this transmitter will stay at four milliamps and then at the output percentage that I pick in parameter 20 is where I'll jump on to the square root curve. So this is what I want, so I want to enter that. So now I'm in VS off. I then move to the next setup that we want is setting up the display in the flow units that we want, which will be parameter 16. Looking at parameter 16, notice it says V flow units, and it starts out with cubic meters per second. I press the enter button. Ah, I see the downward arrow, so I know I have to move down the list to see other flow units. So I'm going to depress it, and there's meters cubed, there's liters, there's cubic feet, there's standard cubic feet. Here's up oh, gallons up oh, but the I in front is for imperial gallons per minute which is the British way of measuring gallons so I don't want that I want US gallons so I'm going to depress that here's gallons per second gallons per minute that's what I want so I'm going to enter that with the right hand key next thing we're going to do is set up the scaling of the display notice it says gallons per minute and i have the asterisk that's because i did the factory reset i hit enter the enter mode and it says all nines and it is negative all nine so i want zero here so i have to increase those val that value so i use the center left button and that starts to increment upward in terms of the scaling of the display at 4 milliamps. There's zero. I enter that and now I come up to the, that's the lower scaling value of zero. I continue and go to 19 which is the upper value. I enter that and once again it will be all nines but I have to go down now because I want 200 GPM as my upper LCD scaling value at 20 milliampers. And there's 200 gallons per minute. So now I've set up the display zero to 200 gallons a minute. The next thing I have to do, remember what I said earlier, was where am I going to jump off onto the square root curve from in this case, four milliamps, and at 10% is the factory reset uh, value. Uh, I'm not nuts about that. That's 10 to one in flow, and for an orifice plate, I personally feel that's a little bit too much. So I'm going to go to something on the order of maybe 12% uh, percent, uh, which is closer to what I think. That to me makes more sense. That's about eight to one flow. I enter that value. The next thing I have to do is to decide uh, or to assure myself that the initial view, the start view of the transmitter when it's just normally reading what it's supposed to read uh, will be flow. So I'm going to do that in the start view parameter, which is parameter 31. Factory reset is pressure. Well, I don't want pressure. I want downward facing edit flashing, so I know I'm doing something. I don't want temperature of the electronics or of the sensor. I want, don't want level. I want volume, no. I want volumetric flow there it is 
I hit enter and that's entered. Now when I press the left hand button, which is the button to get me back to normal flow or normal display, you'll see it says volumetric flow in gallons per minute. It's that simple.